Hey, this is Mithilesh, Lead Product Manager from Zluri. Today, let's talk about group-based access reviews and why they matter. As organizations' identity and access management practices mature, using SSO groups to enable and disable access to applications becomes a commonly adopted workflow. Teams create groups like engineering and assign applications such as GitHub and AWS to the group to automatically provision access when users join and get added to the engineering group. However, when roles change, people often stay in older groups while joining newer ones, accumulating excessive access. If someone leaves engineering but isn't removed from the group, they retain access to these applications. Now extend this scenario to hundreds or even thousands of combinations of employees and groups, and blind spots and security risks start to grow fast. That's why Zluri's group-based access reduce help. Curious about getting the complete picture for all your SSO groups? Zluri pulls in every group from all your SSOs, be it Okta, Entra, Google Workspace, JumpCloud, and much more. You see who's in each group, which apps they get access to, and whether their current role still justifies that access. No guesswork needed, you can make real-time informed decisions. Zluri then closes the remediation loop with playbooks that include actions to automatically revoke or modify access. Zluri's automation engine allows you to automatically execute any access changes directly in your directories, eliminating the need for manual follow-ups and access changes. So when you decide someone shouldn't be in the engineering group, you don't need to go into your directory to remove them from the group manually. Zluri handles the removal automatically once reviews are completed. Now let's see how this works. So first things first, let's see how the setup works. Create a new certification. Give it a simple name such as BrewQQs. Next, choose a certification owner. This person is responsible for overseeing the entire process. Think of them as the project manager for the certification, ensuring it's completed on time, being the single point of contact for any queries reviewers may have, and pulling reports required for any audits. Want to give reviewers some additional context? You can add a description with rich text and hyperlink your policies or any other relevant resources that you may have. Select groups as the entity type. If reviews for all SSO groups follow a standard process, like reporting managers first followed by IT admins, the default reviewer option allows you to set it up once and apply it to all groups, requiring far less effort than configuring reviewers for each group individually. You can assign reviewers for a group by role, reporting managers for team level context, and department heads for broader oversight. Alternatively, you can choose a specific user if needed. A common pain point admins deal with is when reviews get delayed because a person is no longer part of your company. Zluri addresses this with fallback reviewers, ensuring progress never stops. Suppose your access reviews process requires a second or third level of validation on the reviews being done. You can add multiple levels of reviewers, where second level reviewers and beyond can check and validate whether the review actions taken by previous levels is appropriate. Next, add the groups you want to review. Search for engineering. You can view the member count and the source. In this case, our engineering group is sourced from Google Workspace. The default reviewers you had selected earlier are automatically populated here. However, you can change them if necessary. In the next step, the member list displays the user attributes that matter the most. The name, email, employment status, job title, account types, and so on. If you need to narrow things down, you can filter on any of the user attributes that are present here. Let's say you only want to review contractors. This filter by account type is external, just to focus on these users specifically. You can also choose which of these attributes to display to reviewers under columns and hide the rest. Now let's explore how remediations work in Slurry. To set up the deprovisioning playbook, you can navigate to the Applications tab and search for your group source. For example, Google Workspace. Next, you can go to Automations, click on Deprovisioning, and then add a new playbook. 
it. In this playbook, you can configure various deprovisioning actions, such as removing a user from a group, adding a user to another group, or uh, removing the user from all groups. Once that is done, you can rename the playbook. And you can publish the playbook. To configure remediations for the certification, you have two options. Source specific playbooks that run actions within the SSO itself, like Okta or Google Workspace, where users originally got access to multiple applications. Instead of manually removing someone from each individual application, you can create a playbook for the specific SSO group and run actions at the source level. This way, you manage remediations once at the source level rather than in multiple applications. Zluri also supports global playbooks, which keep actions consistent across all groups and certifications. These act as your default, so one policy covers every group and cuts repetitive setup. Zluri also supports creating different playbooks for group removal and modification scenarios, which you can configure here as required. You can also add multiple groups across different IDPs and SSOs within the same certification as well. Want this review to run just once or repeat on a schedule? You can set a start date and an end date. And then turn on recurrence, save every two months. Zluri automatically sends reminders to reviewers based on the start and end dates to keep things moving. That way, reviews always run on time, reviewers get a predictable cadence, and auditors see a clean history. Zluri also allows you to set policies that enable or auto reassign self reviews. Self reviews enable reviewers to review their own group memberships when appropriate. For auto reassignment, you can route to specific roles such as reporting manager, department head, certification owner, or fallback reviewer, or you can assign to a specific user. Moreover, setting up reviews doesn't always have to start from scratch. Zluri lets you draft certifications and clone existing ones to create similar setups. Clone certifications can be modified and customized for new scenarios. Drafts can be edited, saved, archived, and resumed whenever required. And before anything goes live, the system validates the setup, catching missing reviewers or unpublished playbooks so that nothing gets stuck. Once the certification is created, let's take a look at what reviewers actually see. The moment you open this review, right away, Zluri highlights risks, like inactive accounts, external users, or service users. This way, attention goes to the right places first. Making decisions is straightforward. With one click, you can approve, revoke, or modify access, along with adding a comment for auditability. And here's the best part, you don't have to do this one by one. Bulk operations lets you handle multiple users at once. You can select bulk edit, review action. Once you finish the review, you can click on sign off to confirm. Once signed off from the reviewer's end, the reviews then move on to the next level if present, else they'll await the certification owner's confirmation to initiate the remediation actions. We understand that keeping track of reviews can be tricky. With Zluri, that's no longer a problem. You see ownership, timelines, and progress in a single dashboard. Ongoing reviews show exactly where actions are pending. Once all reviewers have signed up, admins can see the percentage of reviews that are been approved, revoked, modified, or are in pending status, along with the assigned groups and their completion status. Click on Conclude Review to trigger the remediation actions. The certification will then move to the completed tab. For audit purposes, you can generate proof instantly for any completed certification. You can export the review data either as a CSV or in a PDF format that includes member details, decisions, timestamps, and remediation actions. This gives you everything you need to be audit ready with documentation that's ready to be handed over to auditors.
Currently, with Groves being spread across multiple systems, tracking them typically involves switching logins and performing numerous manual checks. With group-based access reviews, we can pull them all into one certification and handle everything in one place. What does that mean in practice? Teams save hours because self-service automation and bulk reviews eliminate repetitive work. Reviews are actually completed, since reviewers see all the necessary context up front to make informed decisions. From a security perspective, you now have visibility into every group membership. And when something appears suspicious, remediation occurs immediately, rather than waiting for manual actions. Operationally, it's beneficial too. You don't have to juggle multiple systems or chase down reviewers. Tasks are automatically assigned to the right people. Additionally, for compliance purposes, every decision and action is logged with a timestamp. Certifications can be set to recur at a defined cadence, and reports are flexible enough to accommodate any compliance needs you have. Are you ready to learn how group-based access reviews can help your organization? Schedule a live demo with our team today.